Hi, listen to Mark from MarkSurfing.com. Great to have you join me. I really want to share five ideas, five tips that really will help you improve as a public speaker. I've had the privilege of speaking at some fantastic universities, some great colleges. I've had the privilege of speaking to lots of entrepreneurs and business people. And I just want to share five tips. If you're you're public speaking, uh, or it's something you want to do, or you're you're a seasoned pro, you know, just take a couple of minutes just to hear me out. Because uh, I think, you know, a couple of points, you know, I'm constantly growing and learning and developing. And similar to radio, uh, it's very important that you have a clear message. But my first point is to remember it's not about you. Um, when we're sharing and we're, we're sharing about what we're talking about and we're communicating a message, it's really important that we don't lose track of the fact that it isn't about us, it isn't about me, it's about you, it's about the audience, it's about the listener. What does the listener want? And so it's not a platform to just sell and to just be self-absorbed uh, and just continual, continually like singing your own praises. But it's about really engaging with the audience in a way that people can really be inspired, can really testify, empathise and sympathise with what you're saying and really be encouraged. So my first point is to say it's not about you, it's about your audience. So be mindful of that. Second point is to rid yourself of pointless... PowerPoint slides, often we can hide behind them uh, and often our attention and our message is being distracted by uh, a PowerPoint slide that often can be sometimes insignificant and, and lacking purpose. You know, it's a little bit old hat and so it, I'm sure it does still have its place, especially if you're presenting in a professional organisation. I tend to use props, so when I talk about the law of the rubber band, I hand everybody a rubber band before they go into the seminar um, and so they've got something tangible they can really relate to my message because they've got something that really represents what I'm going to talk about so try and be creative with uh, the things that you use rather than just hiding behind a PowerPoint slide first one is to really third one sorry is to really be prepared for the unexpected there's been times when I've been talking and something unexpected has happened and it can knock you off your stride you can get embarrassed it can feel a little bit awkward you know and sometimes things don't go to plan it doesn't even matter whether it's about public speaking in life things don't tend to always go to plan and so it's just being mindful that sometimes things do happen stay calm stay focused on, on what your objective is which is about really engaging with your audience the fourth point is to not memorize your speech word for word the value and the authenticness of your talk is going to come when it hasn't been necessarily rehearsed or scripted, but when, when you're really speaking from the heart with emotion and with confidence and with a declaration and a real passion of what you believe is the right message to really bring to your audience. So try not to just stay to a format. It's okay to have headers and reminders and triggers, but try and keep it as natural, you know, so they can really flow and really understand and kind of gauge the feedback that you're getting from your audience so you can tailor what you share, maybe re-emphasize or redirect the conversation depending on the response that you get from your audience. And the last point is to finish strong regardless of how you feel the speech went. So try not to overanalyze during your speech and always finish with a strong message. Get your message across and allow that individual or those people to take something away. Not something salesy, but something really impactful, something that will really stick in their mind and really you know, bring your A-game when you speak. Do it with clarity, do it with confidence and do it with lots and lots of passion. And I'll be back next week with an, another video to inspire, encourage and educate. And you can find out more about me at MikeSefton.com or you can follow me on Twitter at Sefton Mark.